So there are two things that we don't need to forget in this life that we need to keep on uh, reminding each other. There are two things that are very, very important. In this life, we live in two worlds. There are two worlds, two dimensions that we live in. We live in the spirit and we live in the physical. We are spirits that are living in the physical world. Okay, so it's very, very important to understand that you are not only physical. Your physical being is part of you. It makes you operate on earth. So it's very, very important to understand that. So our series, I'll keep on uh, reminding you about these two dimensions that we live in. It's very, very important to understand that. For you to be able to walk properly, you need to have two legs. And then you see that you've got two legs and one is weaker than the other and the other one is stronger than the other. It's the will of God, it's the plan of God, it's the style of God that if you want to move properly, you must not have all both legs um, with the same strength. Some, one must be weaker than the other. So that's how life is. We live in two dimensions, the spiritual dimension and the physical dimension okay and the spiritual dimension is um is is is, is stronger than the physical without the sp spiritual life you cannot be able to live that's why when someone dies the spirit goes and the body is buried you know so it's very important to understand that so i'll explain more of this when we are talking about the kingdom of god but for now we are going to go through the book of ephesians so there are two things that we are going to review in this book the physical operation and the spiritual operation in a nutshell okay so verse one it says children obey your parents in the lord for this is right <clears throat> So as we live in two different dimensions in life, the spiritual one and the physical one, I want you to recognize that we have what we call parents in the Lord. Parents in the Lord are, are, are people assigned for our spiritual life. Parents in the Lord, these are our parents um, because of they are instructed by God to parent us. So these are our spiritual parents that I'm going to talk about from verse 1 in the name of Jesus. We need to have spiritual parents that, you know, um, make us grow, that grooms us in our spiritual life. Remember, we said we've got a physical life and we've got a spiritual life. So in the spiritual life, you need to have parents you know, that you are supposed to obey. The parents in the spirit, they are very important in your life because they are also the ones that can teach you how to obey your father and your mother. Your parents in the Lord are the ones that can be able to see in your spiritual life. They can be able to connect with your life spiritually and they are able to see what you what is going to happen to you before it happens because the life in the spirit it's it controls the life in the physical so if you want to see that uh when jesus was born an angel came even before jesus came these things started in the spirit an angel came and then said to mary you are going to have a child okay you're going to have a child. So which this, this was in the spirit already. We know that this one was prophesied already about the, the virgin giving birth to the Messiah. So which means it was already there in the spirit, but it needed someone who can be able to tap in the spirit so that they can be able to download or to convert or to download what they see in the spirit into the physical. So you see that around us there are people that can be able to see our lives in our spiritual realm. It's very, very important to have a spiritual parent, the one who can see things before they happen into your life, the one that can fight some other battles that you cannot be able to fight, you know, in the spirit. Everything before it happens in the physical, it starts in the spiritual.